Well, today is National Beer Day, which recognizes the world's most widely consumed alcoholic beverage. It's the third most popular drink overall. Only water and tea are more popular. Pretty interesting. So joining me live to help mark the occasion is Courtney Guggenberger, the co-owner of Guggenberg. Haas House Brewing right. Company. Yeah. I told her all morning long, I've been saying it more like a Haas, just house. It's okay. Just keep it yeah. simple, right? It's on the Indies near Northwest Side. Good morning to you. Thanks for being yeah, here. Thanks for having me. I was just telling you as well, I went to visit you all a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I loved it. So much fun. What a great experience yeah. you guys have going there. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the history of your brewery and the piece of property you're on. It's pretty historic, yeah. right? Yeah, so we opened in 2019. It's me and my twin sister and our husbands. Yes. Um, after living in Germany and Denver and coming back and um, creating a, a business together in our basement of our house, wow. we made it into an actual business and we ended up on the property of the Boyle Racing Headquarters. So in the 30s and 40s, it was home to the Boyle Racing Team and Wilbur Shaw, three-time winner of the Indy 500. That is so neat. We're looking at video of that now. Mm -hmm. And when I was there, I noticed that you had a car on display, I believe, some yes. photos. Mm -hmm. It was really neat to be yeah. there. So tell me a little bit about the dozens of beers on tap. Mm -hmm. It's a full-on experience if you go. You can taste them. Yeah. What's some of your favorites or most popular, I guess? Sure. Yeah, I like to say we have something for everybody. We yes. try to kind of go a, a wide, provide a wide variety. So. Like the Riverside, we're in the Riverside neighborhood, and that is one of our best sellers. It's a New England IPA. Okay. Um, we have our Hefeweizen, which is a traditional German yes. um, beer. Uh -huh. And then we do a wide assortment of experimental IPAs. Um, sours are really popular. Okay. Milkshake IPAs. So Wonderful. Really whatever your heart desires we have. Which is great, because <laughs> for someone like me, who I'm just kind of getting into trying a little different, you know, mm -hmm. I like to be able to try all the different ones you have. So let's try a few sure. that you brought here. Okay. What are your favorites? So my favorites, so the Pilsner, this is actually my husband's favorite, and is he it? brews our beer. So he comes home and has a Pilsner. This is named for Wilbur Shaw. Oh. This Maserati that's on the can is actually in that Ooh. racing garage. Yes. So that's just like a nice, clean, crisp Pilsner, easy drink. It's light. It's mm -hmm. really nice. Sure. And I love the can de detail. Thank Absolutely. You. So this is our Hefeweizen, the traditional okay. German wheat beer. This is what made us fall in love with beer when we lived over in Germany. How long did you live in Germany? Just for about a year with oh. my husband's job and then this uh, one. We fell oh, in love. Yeah. I love that. Like that okay, one. yes. I'm taking um, little sips here because yeah. you have a, a full sip. on lineup. We so do. I'm just <laughs> I had to bring them all. Like, so this is the Riverside, which what I mentioned earlier, it's one of our most popular. I could see um, that being a very popular one. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of no notes of grapefruit in it. It's made with like eight different hops. So okay. it pulls out the juicy, fruity flavors. As you pour the next one, where did you get the ideas of all these different beers? So the different flavors, the, um, what comes from them? Oh, just a lot of, the, or four of these were original ones that we had home brewed and okay. we worked on throughout the years. And then otherwise, it's experimenting with different hops and malts. Um, the one we're tasting now was made with other women in the industry Ooh. come together for the Pink Brutes, Pink Boots Brew Day. And so this is Pink Solidarity. So that was one that. kind of our one-off specials that we have right we now. We love a good message behind a good yeah, beer, right? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then our milk stout. Okay, so um, I'm usually not a dark person. Hey, before okay. we go, um, tell us a little bit about this being a family place as sure. well. I mean, everyone's invited. That, that is so true. So we have a kitchen, a top room that seats over 100, a beer garden, um, and it's family friendly in the whole place. And then outside, we're dog friendly as well. So you can come, play games, relax and enjoy some good food and beer. And this one is, I love this. You like that this one? This is yeah. great. And when I was there too, there was music outside. Yeah. This was a beautiful we day. We so have trivia every Wednesday. Oh, so much fun. Thank yeah. you so much for being Thanks here. For this is us. great. Thanks yeah. for letting me taste test as well, <laughs> Jim. Anytime. Such a fun place to go to when it's nice out. Hopefully Sunday's gonna be a really nice day. Yes. Maybe that'll be a great day to head we out. We music that day too. Oh, perfect. Yeah.